Hello YouTube, Sacred Sage here, back with another video, and I wanted to show this new asset that I found on the Daz store. So this is a new type of ghost light. So it's called IREG Ghost Light Kit 3. And what this does is it has God rays, glow, uh, glow balls, and all sorts of different way to add a new pop to a scene. As you can see, before I even hit the eye ray, you can see these streaks right here from the ghost light. And what it does is it is it just forces light in and makes it look like you get that glint shine. So let's go into eye ray real quick. And you can actually see the light bursting onto the walls, onto the the window and and whatnot and also down here it i mean i have to mess with it some more but this is going to be fun to play with in scenes i can already tell because it it definitely gives a new perspective oops let's get out of that you can see the light on the wall i mean it makes it look really natural i like that i'll probably have to um, mess around with it some more because you probably don't want too much or too little but this is a new form of ghost lighting I'm going to start experimenting with for sure. So that being said, the old way I would do this would be using just a regular ghost light, right? So I don't even think I got a ghost light, regular ghost light in here, do I? Okay, no problem. So let's get a, let's get a ghost light in here. Let's, oopsie, you. Is it already hidden? Come on, man. There. <sighs> Dad's being difficult. Okay, so let's go ahead and get another ghost light, just a regular ghost light. And you're gonna see the difference in this too. So let's pop this down. Let's see it over there. Parameters. Oops, not the chair. The ghost light. Bring it on out. Up. Whoop. Let's go ahead and give it like a little bit of an angle. We'll just give it like a little bit of a stretch just for now. Oops, wrong way. Apply. Go into the surface tab. And we'll jack this lumen up. Let's say like 500, right? <clears throat> now, let's look to see what a 500 lumen regular ghost light actually does. You can barely see it here on the side of the wall. Just barely see it. And then on this side, you can barely see it as well. So that's the difference between that new ghost light and the old one. So let's go ahead and hide this and then bring that one back out. It's just so, so much more. And it, it's just another way so that you don't have to do spotlights. So spotlights takes the light geometry and it bounces off a of wall, ceilings, objects, anything and everything, right? That being said, oops, it takes up a lot of VRAM. The ghost lights, they don't take up the VRAM. It's very, very efficient, very, very good on your CPU, uh, GPU. So I always tend to do ghost lights whenever and wherever I can. But anyways, I wanted to uh, share that with you guys. I uh, hope it was helpful. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm not sure what that's going to be yet, but until then, take care.